So, you like everything so far? Good. Well, I'll try not to blow it. So, I get to talk about iCloud. We've been working on this for some time now, and we're really excited about it. Um, about 10 years ago, we had one of our most important insights, and that was that the PC was going to become the digital hub for your digital life. What did that mean? Well, it meant that that's where you were going to put your digital photos. Where else were you going to put them? Your digital video off your digital camcorder. And of course, your music, right? You were going to acquire it in the device or potentially on your Mac. Uh, and you were going to basically sync it to the Mac and everything was going to work fine. And it did for the better part of 10 years. But it's broken down in the last few years. Why? Well, because the devices have changed. They now all have music. They now all have photos. They now all have video. And so if I acquire a song, I buy it right on my iPhone, I want to get that to my other devices. Right? I pick up my iPad and it doesn't have that song on it. So I have to sync my iPhone to my Mac. Then I have to sync my other devices to the Mac to get that song. But then they've deposited some photos on the Mac, so I have to sync the iPhone again with the Mac to get those photos. And keeping these devices in sync is driving us crazy. <laughs> so, we've got a great solution for this problem. And we think this solution is our next big insight, which is we're going to demote the PC and the Mac to just be a device just like an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPod Touch. And we're going to move the digital hub, the center of your digital life, into the cloud. Because all these new devices have communications built into them. They can all talk to the cloud whenever they want. And so now, if I get something on my iPhone, it's sent up to the cloud immediately. Let's say I take some pictures with it. Those pictures are in the cloud, and they are now pushed down to my devices completely automatically. And now everything's in sync with me not even having to think about it. I don't even have to take the devices out of my pocket. I don't have to be near my Mac or PC. Now, some people think the cloud is just a hard disk in the sky, right? <laughs> and you take a bunch of stuff, and you put it in your Dropbox or your iDisk or whatever, and it transfers it up to the cloud and stores it, and then you drag whatever you want back out on your other devices. We think it's way more than that. And we call it iCloud. Now, iCloud stores your content in the cloud and wirelessly pushes it to all your devices. So it automatically uploads it, stores it, and automatically pushes it to all your other devices. But also, it's completely integrated with your apps. And so everything happens automatically, and there's nothing new to learn. It just all works. It just works. Now, you might ask, why should I believe them? They're the ones that brought me mobile me. <laughs> it wasn't our finest hour. <laughs> Let me just say that. But we learned a lot. Now, the three core apps in mobile me were contacts, calendar, and mail. Three things we'd obviously like kept up to date. We've thrown them away. We've re-architected and rewritten them from the ground up to be iCloud apps. And we've put them on all of our devices. So as an example, in contacts, when I make a new contact on my iPhone, it's automatically brought up to the cloud where it's stored on the cloud. 
right? The truth is on the cloud. And then it's automatically pushed down to my other devices so they're all in sync. It's that easy. I just update a contact on my iPhone and don't even think about it. And that contact is updated on all my other devices. And if I change it on any device, it's updated on all devices, wirelessly, automatically, without me doing a thing. So that's contacts. Here's calendars. Works much the same way. I make a new calendar event on my iPhone. It's stored in the cloud. And it's pushed to my other devices. Pretty cool. We've also added calendar sharing. So as an example, if I'm sharing a, a few calendars with my wife, school and soccer calendars, let's say, right? And I add a new calendar for a teacher-parent conference on my phone. It's, again, automatically pushed up to the cloud and automatically pushed to my wife's iPhone. If she adds, if she adds an appointment for a soccer game, again, goes up to the cloud and back to my iPhone. It's that simple. And so calendars has, it stores your calendars in the cloud, changes on any device or pushed to all your devices, and we have shared calendars. And we think you're going to love the new calendars. It just works. And then we have mail. Mail was in the best shape of all, but it's even better now. We give you a mail account at, at me.com. Your new messages, again, are pushed to all your devices. And like we're used to, your inbox and folders are all kept up to date on all devices. So that's mail. And no ads. <laughs> We build products that we want for ourselves, too, and we just don't want ads. So we can't get there. So these are the three apps that form the core of MobileMe. We used to sell them for a subscription price of $99 annually. As of today, this product ceases to exist. And those three apps are now going to be free.